what's going on guys? I want to do a uh, holster review for you. This is a holster I've had for many months now. I've been using on and off and it's finally time for a review. This one is the Hidden Hybrid Holster. Um, it's a uh, obviously a hybrid, Kydex and leather. Uh, this one surpasses a lot of the other ones I've tried. I've probably tried five different ones of this style. Um, and out of all those different models, I like this the most because of what it offers. First off, let's talk about the price. Uh, holsters can range in you know a whole wide range of prices, anywhere from 30 bucks on to a couple hundred for a custom holster. Um, these go for $59.95, which is very much in the, the range that most Kydex holsters go for these days. Alright, expect anywhere to pay, you know, anywhere from 40 to like 80 for a Kydex holster. The fact that this is a Kydex um, leather combo for 60 bucks. Uh, that's great. That is a great price for what you're getting here. Uh, there are little like touches that I like about this, some options. And when, you, when you're getting into holsters, options are good. You want to kind of customize it to yourself. Now, overall, uh, towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you some other holsters uh, and just briefly talk about you know what I like about them, what I don't like about them. But um, I like that you do have options here. You can adjust different things. Uh, for example, first of all, there's two points of contact or two points that's actually uh, you know, holding onto your pants or belt. You have the clips here, which are swivel clips, all right? And there's also three different spots. So you can raise this to be higher or lower, you know, depending on how you want it sitting, you know, inside your pants. This is a concealment holster, all right? This is inside the waistband. Um, or if you wanted to, you could take the clips off and you can wear this outside the waistband with the belt holes, okay? Both the clips and the belt holes are one and three quarter inch. So take belts up to one and three quarter inch. Um, as far as the clips go, you can order smaller clips that are polymer. The only steel clips that you're gonna find though that they offer, um, I mean, you can go to other websites. Obviously it's just a hole here. If you wanna get different clips, you could order them anywhere. But as far as what they happen to offer, uh, the other ones are plastic. These ones are a powder coated spring steel. All right, they work very well. They're very easy to clip on and they do hold because of the, the shape here. Okay, how it dips down and pops back up. Material's easy to push through. The clips are very good tension. Being the spring steel, you can stretch them pretty wide and they still come back to the original shape very easily. Um, I like the leather. The leather is 9 tenths ounce leather and it's very flexible. Okay, these wings, all right, which are supposed to kind of curve to your body because obviously it's a very long sheath, all right, or holster rather. <clears throat> being that it's this long, you want it to be able to contour towards your body, all right, and they do very well. They work very nicely for that. Um, in carrying this using the holes, obviously it's more difficult to fish your belt through holes. I like, I, I much prefer any kind of holster that has the option to quickly put it on and off, which I use more often. I've only used the holes to specifically test this for the review. Generally speaking, I don't like, I mean, of course, if I have a little extra time, whatever, I will go through the process of fishing my belt through holes on a holster. It does hold more securely, in my opinion. And I, I can attest that to many other sheaths that I have, or I keep saying sheaths, I'm in knife mode. Uh, many other holsters. Um, what was a really nice touch with this one is that the entire back is suede lined. All right, this is a really nice touch. You don't see on a lot of them. Um, it offers two things. First of all, it's extremely comfortable. Okay, very comfortable. Um, if you're wearing this against the skin, which I have multiple times, more times than not, I don't wear an undershirt. Even like in winter time. <clears throat> well, in winter, generally speaking, I'll have some kind of t-shirt or long shirt. Then I'll have like a hoodie on. Um, and if it's super cold, obviously I have a jacket. So in those cases, I do have other multiple layers that this is not touching my skin. But more often than not, the holster that I'm wearing is touching my bare skin. And this is a really nice addition. Um, in addition to being more comfortable against the body and the skin, it does actually grip your clothes better. So if you do have a layer uh, underneath this instead of your skin, it does not want to move as much than if it was the smooth leather side. All right, so the suede is just a really nice touch. It's really classy, it looks cool, it feels great, but it's also functional. Um, all the fasteners on the back are completely flat. I don't find them to be a problem as far as scratching or anything like that, so no issues there at all. Uh, the Kydex fits very well. This is obviously for my Glock 36. You guys know, most of you know, that's what I carry. So that's another thing too, is that not a lot of holster companies uh, accommodate the Glock 36. It's a little bit of an odd Glock. It's the only single stack Glock there is. Um, so some, some holster companies just don't have a mold for those, so they don't offer it. So I'm always excited when I see a company that actually offers a holster for the gun that I want. And this is the gun, my semi-automatic that I carry the most. 
The fit is perfect. Uh, it's the right tension for me. Why? Because it's adjustable. And when I first got this, it was a little bit uh, tight for how I want. I'm kind of, I'm in the middle of the road. I don't like my holster to be super tight. I want to be able to get my gun out, you know, when I can. I don't want to struggle with it. But at the same time, I don't want it so loose that it's going to fall out easily. So I was able to pinpoint exactly the tension I want with these two screws. They're on rubber mounts here. All right, so obviously you can tighten them down and it'll squish the rubber. So once your gun is in the holster, you know, safely unloaded, no magazine, um, you can uh, adjust these and keep going back and forth with a Phillips head and basically make it tighter or looser, whatever you want. That's a, that's a huge thing. There's a lot of holsters out there that there's a set, um, you know, retention. And if it's too tight, basically you have to keep putting your gun in and out to wear in the leather. You know, as far as Kydex and it's not adjustable, well, it's just going to be too, you know, too uh, tight of retention. It'll take a very long time to actually loosen up to where you want it. So being able to get a holster brand new and adjust it for the perfect tension, that's a huge bonus. Very, very nice. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this holster? Uh, I do like the fact that the clips are adjustable and removable. If you didn't want them, you don't have to use them. Uh, I do like the fact that the Kydex portion is adjustable as well. Uh, one thing um, someone pointed out in an old review is that the stitching around these holes are not perfect. Now, if you look at the stitching around the perimeter, it's pretty dead on. It's very straight. But around these holes, it's a little bit off. It's not completely perfect. That's just aesthetics. It's obviously 100% functional. I have no problem with it. It's worth pointing out. If you're a perfectionist and that's going to bug you, don't get this holster, I suppose. <laughs> but the, the one I have uh, is just, it's a little off. It's not exactly the shape of the hole. Honestly, who cares? But more than one person pointed that out when I first showed this. So I thought it was worth mentioning. I can care less as long as the stitching is not coming off, which it's not. They do offer black, obviously. I like the brown. It's a nice, deep chocolate brown. And I think it's classy. It looks very nice, you know, two-tone with the, uh, the black clips and the black uh, Kydex. As far as the fit, the fit is perfect. And the tip, just the, the barrel uh, sticks out. It completely covers the slide. It contours in. As you can see, it's just, it's just very comfortable. It's a really good fit. It's easy to wear. Um, generally speaking, this style of holster is not the style that I prefer. I did want to try this one because I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, and as far as this style goes, still probably one of the best ones I've ever had. Of the five that I've tried, this one is the best that I've ever had, um, specifically for the price. There's other ones out there a little bit more expensive, and they don't really even offer the same that you're getting with this one. So highly recommended for this style. That being said, I usually like a holster that is very minimalist. All right, no wings, one point of contact, one clip. I do prefer an out, uh, inside the waistband. Obviously, I carry inside the waistband more often than outside. So I prefer an inside the waistband holster and usually very minimalist, just enough, you know, around the gun and one clip, you know, that holds it on. Here's a holster that I really, really love and I've reviewed before. This fits the gun very nicely. Um, the only thing is that without me not using this for a while, it got tight again. The retention's too tight, and I have no way of adjusting this. So I basically have to work this in and out, you know, put some um, you know, leather protectant on here, uh, maybe use a little bit. Well, first of all, I use the uh, open offs on all my leather stuff from now on, because I love that stuff, and it works really well. But as far as the inside, I need some kind of uh, oil um, a liquid I can use to loosen this up a little bit, almost like working in a baseball glove again. You know, it, because I didn't use this and because it's been cold, um, it actually got so tight that I, I'm not comfortably comfortable enough to use this because it's way too tight retention. I can't get that gun out very easily. So I have to work this one again. There's no adjustments on this leather. Beautiful, beautiful holster if you're constantly using it. But a little tip to all you guys out there, if you have leather holsters and you're not using it for a while, every now and then check your gun, see if it's gonna be too tight for you because that one got a little tight on me. Um, minimalist holster, just Kydex. Very simple, works great, great retention everything. Two points of retention, or two mounting points, I should say, I don't know how to, you know, word that properly, but same as this, but look at the difference in size. Much more compact. Uh, the only problem is I can't put this on quickly, like I can this, so this has the advantage. I prefer that, I like the open clips. Um, this one, uh, is a little different though. This is an outside the waistband holster um, But I have to fish the belt through okay, it's the only downside of those This one of my first holsters ever carries the gun very nicely uh, My only problem again, it's just a little bit harder to get on these snaps are a pain in the butt um, to get on and off but You know just another another option that I've used before But I just don't use as much because there's other holsters. I like 
Here's another one. Extremely minimalist. One, one loop. This one's inside the waistband. I do carry this one a lot. Um, I do have to fish the belt through, which is a little bit of a pain. But I like it. It's very minimalist. My favorite, not for this gun, but my favorite all-time cheap-ass, sorry to say ass, but cheap, cheap holster was this one. This is the a spray holster for my kel -Tec. Talked about this a million times. People constantly ask what this is. This was like a $5 holster I got from CheaperThanDirt.com way back in the day when I first got the guns. And it's held up the test of time. I mean, I've had this for years now. You can see how it's molded to the gun perfectly. That suede. It's super lightweight. It's super easy. Very minimalist. One single clip. Works great. Perfect. Um, one thing I do want to mention with this, which is a big bonus to me and is important to me, is that... I put the magazine back in. When I have my gun in my holster, something I always look for in every single holster is I want my mag release to be exposed. Okay, this is very important to me personally. All right, there's the magazine release. I want it exposed. I don't want the holster. I don't want the holster to touch it at all. Reason being is I've had holsters before that when using them, it's popped my magazine out because the backing of the holster has covered this and just in pushing on my body, the, the pressure against the whole back plate, it actually pushed down and released the magazine. Usually it doesn't pop out, but it'll pop like this. It'll release just enough. God forbid I have to draw my gun to use it. Either my, my mag's gonna fall out completely or I'm not, you know, I rack the slide. I'm not gonna do it now because I have ammo in here, but when I rack the slide, um, I'm gonna have issues. I'm gonna have a malfunction. It's gonna be a problem, all right? So the first thing is when you get a new holster, no matter what it is, when you first start using it, keep checking, keep checking. I, I've been conscious of this and every now and then when I do carry a gun, doesn't matter what holster I have, I'll reach down <clears throat> and just feel that magazine and I'll kind of pull on it a little bit, make sure that it's, it's engaged properly because that is a very, very bad thing. That is the, the very first thing I look for in a holster. That's very, very important to me and it should be important to you too because it doesn't matter how comfortable your holster is, if your gun's not going to be functional, when it's time to use it, you're screwed. So, something worth mentioning. So this one is A-OK -okay in my book because of that. So anyway, that's pretty much it. The fit and finish, besides the little, you know, stitching issue, which is not even an issue for me, um, all nicely rounded. Uh, the Kydex is nicely rounded. The fit and finish is superb on this, minus the stitching around here, whatever. Um, but it works great. It's very comfortable to carry. I love it. It's really, really cool. Um, as far as the, uh, the cants on here, you are stuck with one, uh, one style of cant. It's not a huge deal, but for some people, they do like the adjustment. They like to be able to change the cant forward or back. Um, not with this sheath, or sheath, this holster. Uh, so if that's an issue with you, you may want to go with another holster. Not an issue for me at all. I do like the fact that I can raise this up and down, and I have uh, tried it on the different uh, settings or options there, and I do prefer the bottom one. Uh, the bottom setting allows this to be uh, higher up, so I have more gun exposed to me. I like that, but if you had issues with printing or something, you could raise these clips up, which in turn lowers the, the whole holster inside the waistband, so you have less sticking up, you know, out of your shirt that's going to print. So anyway, that's the uh, hidden hybrid holster. I love mine. I think it's really cool for this style. If I want to go for this style of holster, this is the best one that I've used so far. Uh, and I like having it in my little arsenal of holsters. When you get into guns, you're going to find two things happen. When you buy a gun, you go, wow, that's a lot of money. You know, at least I got it now, I don't have to buy it again. Well, <laughs> there's two things you're going to continuously pay for. One is ammo. That never ends. Obviously, you buy your gun, but you can continuously spend money on ammo. And you will more, more than likely continuously spend money on holsters because there is no end holster. Every time you get a holster that works for you, event, I mean, you can look at something in the store and go, yeah, it's great, awesome. Once you start using it, you might find issues with it, and there's a continuous hunt for the perfect holster. Just like, you know, you can get a great knife, but you still want to try new knives. Holsters are the same way. Be forewarned, if you, if you haven't gotten to guns yet, the gun scene, if you start getting guns, it doesn't end with the purchase of a gun. You will always buy ammo, and you're more than likely constantly getting new holsters to try. So, be warned, it's expensive. I've probably had 50 holsters since I've gotten to guns. Not necessary, I haven't had 50 guns. But you keep trying new things constantly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Let me know your opinions on this holster if you happen to have it in the comments below. And so everyone can see your opinions as well. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care.